Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good day, Dominique Ciccarelli. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. I, I am fine. You're an education expert, and you're <laughs> a perfect person to share about successful school tips and a ways to, you know, for our parents to help them learn, avoid the learning gap. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be here. What can you share with my parents? Parents are always looking for better ways, more ways. You know, we need tools. Mm-hmm. Well, learning gap refers to the difference between what a student has learned in school and uh, what they were expected to learn. So, you know, a teacher has a classroom full of kids and a lot of material to cover, and not all the kids in the classroom are, are getting all of the concepts, but they have to keep moving on. So this can create a gap in learning, and parents should be aware that the majority of fourth graders in the country lack proficiency in math and reading. Actually, only 40% of fourth graders are proficient in math, and 36% are proficient in reading. So it's pretty alarming, and um, when students lack proficiency in fourth grade in uh, reading, they actually start falling behind across social studies, science, and, and even with their math. So it is important for parents to, um, to make sure their children have a rock-solid academic foundation and that they are able to feel successful and confident in the classroom and, uh, and incorporate learning at home. Okay, you said some of the learning gaps, but what are contributing factors to those learning gaps? Well, learning gaps have a tendency to compound over time, so it is important for parents to uh, talk to their teachers and find out the areas that children are improving on in the classroom and the areas that, that need more um, attention. And so, you know, what happens is um, it's just like math and reading are building blocks, and if the foundation isn't strong, then they have a lot of trouble um, when they, you know, and the, the house can collapse or, you know, they have trouble when they get to the, to the harder material. So it is really important for parents to be aware of what's going on in the classroom with their children and with their learning and to be able to make sure their children uh, have an academic advantage in school by, by doing an individualized educational program such as Kumon. How, and that, was, that really leads into my next question. How can parents help battle those learning gaps? What tools, what resources? Remember, most of them are working nine to five or more. Mm -hmm. Well, um, individualized academic programs um, can help to make sure that any learning gaps are prevented, um, as well as to fill them in um, if they've already happened. And this way, uh, when students are able to um, be on grade level or even above grade level, this will bring their, build their confidence, and everyone wants their children to, to feel confident in the classroom. So an individualized program such as Kumon that's time-tested, there are over 4 million students currently enrolled in math and reading worldwide. It's proven to be very successful, and this can help to build that really strong academic foundation, build students' confidence, build their study skills, their time management skills, so the schoolwork feels easy and they feel good about being a student. And some activities, is there some things or activities or uh, uh, learning aids that parents can do at home to fill in those gaps also? Yeah, there's, a, there's lots of things parents can do at home to make learning fun. You want to try to capitalize on your children's natural interests. So um, if they like to be in the kitchen with you and cooking, ask them for help with measuring items. It might take a little bit longer, but a third of a cup of, of uh, milk can help students to really understand what the concept is of a fraction um, and one, what one third represents. Um, if they like sports, um, if you're watching sports with your kids, try to um, deepen their learning um, by asking them, okay, what's the score going to become if this touchdown is, uh, is scored? Um, what's, what will the score be? be? Um, if they like baseball, you can try to help them learn how to calculate batting averages um, and a lot of the statistics that kind of go in, into uh, baseball uh, facts. 
So it is a really great just taking things that your kids are naturally interested in and try to deepen the learning, going a little bit further, researching and, um, and building their math skills in little ways and, and just cooking or sports and uh, to make it really more enjoyable for kids and to help them to build those kind of study skills at home. Well, you're just really saying talk their language. You know, I would do something like, you know, if, if you know, uh, uh, Ariana Grande sold 100, 1 million units, how long did it take her to get to that point? I, I bet you they could tell you in a moment, <laughs> in a heartbeat, that kind of stuff they really can calculate for us. I really enjoy this. Let me ask you, is there a place uh, uh, that people can learn more about the Kumon Centers? Because I think they're a great idea. Yeah, the parents can visit kumon.com to find a center closest to them. And there are, on the website, there are more tips for parents for back to school, early learning, study skills, you know, um, lots of resources there. Kumon.com. Dominique, Dominique Chicarello, thank you so very much. And thanks for exciting my parents. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Have a great day.